Hello, my name is Kindach, also known as Kin, and tonight is going to be a short stream, even though it's been a long time since I've streamed. I feel like it's been at least, what, probably at least a month. Um, and the new Apex season came out like over a week ago, actually maybe exactly a week ago. So yeah, I'm even still a little late to that, which normally I'm relatively on top of that. But I have something to show off later today. And well, I say later today, probably in like 45 minutes or so. Basically, once I'm done going through all the trailers and all the patch notes and everything. Uh, before I actually jump in game and play a few games and like check out stuff that's new in game, that, that's when I'll show it. Uh, but yeah, so it has been a while. So if things are janky i blame that even though that's not that doesn't actually excuse it because i do janky things all the time all right so i noticed interestingly so normally at the drop of a new season for apex there's three trailers there's a trailer for the character uh usually a story trailer oh actually we can go back uh Sorry, there's usually four trailers. So there's a character for the, there's introducing the new character. There is a launch trailer, which is generally cinematic, um, to a degree. Then there's the gameplay trailer, which is like almost entirely in game. And then there's the battle pass trailer. But this time there's only two for the season and then one for which, uh, what something I assume is probably an event trailer. In fact, I think it is an event trailer. So they're cutting back on trailers a little bit, which I don't necessarily hate, although I really miss, I, I like all the launch trailers. The launch trailers are usually my favorite, so I'm kind of sad that's gone. But yeah, all right. So the new character I've seen a lot on Twitter, partially because I follow some Apex devs. So it kind of spoils it a little bit, but I mean, like, I don't know anything about what she does or anything, just her like super evil looking appearance which is pretty hype but yeah all right alter every person in every oh wow she's like actually full blown evil same thing. Like even more than Ash and Revenant, maybe. Who are you? Well, if you really want to know, for years they raised me to be a killer. I see. And I. She is um. Was the best. Crap! What's the so name of the? Uh... Here, I only had one choice. Every person in every world asks me the same thing. Every world. Who are you? It's Dr. Well, Strange. Listen carefully. For years, I sought vengeance for those who had been taken from me. Yeah, I like her tombstone literally says every dead parents. Every person in every world asks me the same thing. Who are you? Well, Zucky King Ping. For years, I was a hunter of the old ways. She's blood hunter. Also, I had a bird. Every person asks me the same thing. Who are you? I was a Wait, is she all of them? Martial artist, but then I discovered a passion for football. What? Who are you? I was born of stone with tremendous power. Fighting to gain immortality. Who are you? I was the reigning modern champion. Is she a compulsive liar? Who are you? For years, I was the leader of <laughs> Hydra. She doesn't know. I'm the one who's there at the end. 
What? <laughs> I don't understand. She does look a little bit like Horizon, though. Hmm. Interesting. I assume this link will be on the next one, so I'll just close this. She looks a, a little bit like Horizon, actually. But I, I mean, I don't know. Oh yeah, uh, the moon is the Every change one this time. The same. I don't like this camera angle. You give them one tiny push. Suddenly they all fall apart. And I get to play with the pieces. This world is so fragile. <laughs> How adorable. You've locked the door. So wait, does she have Ashes Pass? What? That's a cool ability. She can just go through walls or, or roofs. I'm gonna take this. Feel sure you've done using it. I didn't I didn't see what that said. I only understand one of her abilities this so far. I don't understand that one either. Oh. It's a return point. Kind of? I've ended worlds. Is she Ragnarok? Incarnate? Holy kid, wait, hold up, okay. I was too focused on that. Let's revive. Respawn tokens. Wait, are these things that are entering the main mode? <laughs> I like the new character. Broken Moon Shatters. I like Broken Moon pretty decently. Although it's uh it has a problem with the center area that I hope they fix. This place is kinda nice. My stick around for the fire I'm still unsure what her tactical is because I'm assuming that the the teleport through walls is not her tactical. But we'll see in we'll see shortly. All right, time to read through stuff, and then I'll save this for last. Because again, I'm pretty sure it's an event thing. Stand alone in solos, right? So there's solos. I don't know if solos is always around because it says solos take over. And use battle sense to detect nearby enemies. Pre-kitted pre -kitted weapons and attachments. This... Okay, this is the more, uh, the bigger notes. Embrace chaos. Broken moon shatters. I don't know if any, all of these are going to be different things. Customize, oh, right. So I did hear there was a new currency. Um, I am definitely going to be, Focusing more on this than most people because economy is kind of my area of specialty. And presumably they're doing this for economy reasons. Upheaval battle pass. Um, okay. So, alter. Character looks cool. I'm really curious to see what her skins are like. Age unknown, home world unknown, class skirmisher, Yingling Lui. I, this is, I said this 100% incorrect, but. She only, uh, emerged from her dimension into another. 
and a desire to have fun. She is just she's chaos in a carnate. On the edge of complete destruction. This thing is already happening, or she helped usher in the apocalypse herself. Interesting. There is more. Finding these world ending events was a toss. Wait, okay. Sometimes she'd find what she was looking for, and on others, she'd have missed the main event and worlds already ruined. And some of those ruined worlds. Alter began to notice an interesting commonality. Many of these worlds hadn't met by their end by some random event and had been destroyed by the same person. So at the end of her trailer, she had a picture of Horizon and her son. I mean, I based off of Horizon's backstory, I highly doubt it is Horizon. Which implies to me that maybe it is her son that is the cause. Last skirmisher, right, care packages. So that generally when they are skirmisher class, that means that their abilities are going to be on the stronger side. And also, I feel like a lot of skirmishers have relatively aggressive abilities and movement abilities. So void pack. Her tactical is the bit. What? Her tactical is the ability to go through walls and roofs. And it helps her team. Wow. That's, I expected that to be her ultimate. I feel like the cooldown on this has to be massive. Gift from the Rift. Can remotely interact with a death box to claim one item? Can remotely interact? This is a passive? How does that work? I have no idea how this is going to work. Create a regroup, regroup point that all allies can remotely interact with. Again, remotely interact. I, again, don't know how that's going to work. With to open a phase tunnel back to that location. Okay, so it's, a, it's an escape button, basically. I also like this stuff. Does she have a thing for Horizon? Science teacher. Oh, these are good. I've seen a couple of these. Science teacher energy is an amazing one. The gods bend to my will. I don't know what this says. Hmm. Hard to see. Does she have a thing for her eyes in? I see right through you. Jibby. Why is Horizon not here? Well, there's a lot not here. I guess. Can I navigate to the legends? And see from there? Aha! I'm here for you, dearie. That still doesn't necessarily mean that she's here actually for her. She could be here for her to get to her son. Run, rabbit. Run as fast as you can. You'll never be... I did see this one. You'll never be a real boy. Shouldn't you be in a kiddie pool? You're so, so, so scary. Au revoir. All right. So that is the character. Are these all the same? No. Uh, let's start with this. Apex Artifacts. So. Began with the Cobalt Qatar, which was a painful uh, collection event. I'm pretty sure it was like a $200 plus collection event. Or maybe it was around $200 collection event. It's a new way to personalize your Apex Legend experience. Each variant's theme, power source, and more with exotic shards. Mixing and matching to craft your own calling card of destiny. The smallest particle of Branthium indefinitely powers each guitar. So is it only guitars right now? It's a weird choice of a weapon type to start with. 
I feel like punching daggers aren't that cool. The assistance of Rampart herself, bonded for customizations. Um, not, well, okay. You say the legends have their heirlooms. I would think it's only like half the legends have their heirlooms. Maybe it's, maybe it's more than half, but not all of them. Karatar base by the mythic shop. Oh, goodness me. Does that mean all of the mythic collection events are going to be like that? Because if so, that's pain. The old collection events were actually pretty nice because you could functionally get a... I mean, okay. When judging mythic weapons, mythic... Sorry. Heirlooms. You had to kind of like estimate based off of the fact that they were guaranteed after, what is it, 300 or 500 loot boxes? Um, and then account for the fact that you get loot boxes for playing the game too, so naturally it's going to be less. But still, they were generally like $200 plus, at least. So the nice thing about collection events is they were limited time. Which is unfortunate. That's not the nice thing. That's that's not that is not a plus side. But more importantly, um they were shortcuts kind of. Because you could functionally get everything for I think it was like $140 by buying the two bundles. Well, first, actually, I mean, the ideal was that you would uh, have enough crafting materials to craft all the epic stuff and then buy all the bundles for the legendary stuff. Um, if you didn't do, if you didn't have that, then it costs more. But so, okay. Because you're uh, every player with a cobalt will automatically unlock four cobalt upgrades. The guitar base theme, power source, and activation units. Combine unlocked customizations to craft your own guitar. Each row must be unlocked in sequential order. Okay. But I don't think you have to unlock the rows in orders. I think you can choose which rows to unlock. Um... But the okay. Presumably, when you get the weapon, you have to start with something unlocked, right? Like you have to start with this base unlocked naturally. And some of these are pretty cool, but I still am not a huge fan of the punching dagger. I'm sure I will be interested in acquiring one of these at some point, but not the punching dagger particularly. So yeah, chase variant is the basically the reason cuz if you didn't have this chase variant, players would only pursue one line and s probably stop after that. The chase variant is to give benefits to unlocking all of the line and is like intended to be like the best of them. So like the intent is that most players are going to go after the nitride. Um I don't know that it's objectively the best in this circumstance. Like, I feel like Molten's going to be very popular. I don't know. It's also intended to just pursue, like, encourage collection uh, collectionists to go after it. Um, five guitars have... For instance, interesting, this is a hint of some sort. Are they hinting that this, it's nitride ties to the next map? It's kind of what it seems like. Exotic shards. Every Each upgrade component, including the death box, can be acquired using exotic shards. This new currency can be purchased directly like Apex points. Interesting. I see what they are doing here. So Apex coins have been earnable 
to a small degree through the battle pass. Uh, obviously, cost like buying the battle pass costs more Apex coins, um, but you get more total than the the battle pass costs. So the reason to do introduce this currency rather than just queuing off of Apex coins again. Well, A, Apex coins kind of have a, a like, mm, this is getting deep, but Apex coins kind of have a, a stigma isn't the correct word, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Stigma of being tied to real currency, whereas obviously exotic shards are new. So they don't quite have that stigma, even though they obviously are directly tied to real world currency. It is going to be easier for players to just mentally see, hey, 2,500 Apex coins equals $25 or that kind of thing. But also like people have probably some Apex coins stored away um, just as a result of earning them from battle passes and stuff. Like the 10 you can earn this season. You're gonna earn 10 exotic shards this season. Do they, how much, wait, okay. We'll have to see how much they, stuff costs. Okay. This is, I basically already had this part kind of spoiled to me from what I saw on Twitter. I did not expect that the exotic shards were direct purchase. I figured they might've been a purchase for Apex Points. It's kind of like a intermediary currency. All right, now into the meat and potatoes of everything. Um, so takeover solos, replacing duos. Oh, I mean that makes sense. I feel like duos probably wasn't that popular. Um, use your battle to detect. I'm not, I don't know necessarily what this, I feel like I remember this takeover and I feel like I remember hating this concept. It's largely designed to have a faster paced mode and have more constant combat. Rekitted weapons and attachments. I don't, this, I don't understand how that's different from gold weapons. Auto heal and second chance mechanics. So auto heal. Presumably means that you heal when out of combat and you don't have to use like med kits and stuff. Second chance obviously is you respawn. Which I assume is just like once or maybe you get you un earn it. I don't know. We'll find out. Alter. In some ruined dimensions, there was a common denominator that intrigued her, one that would lead her to witness the grandest apocalypse of all. Interesting. Gift from the right. Uh, we already saw these. I, I wish it showed her upgrades, because that's relevant now. Uh, we already checked that out. Map update. Broken moon. Quarantine zone. Or promenade east, met west. It's now the quarantine zone. So I mean, this 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 is the area that I have the biggest problem with in uh, Broken Moon. But I don't really understand how this. I see. Okay, we can do this right. That's like a complete. It looks like it's a completely different area. So I don't know how this is going to work. Appears to be Olympus collided with the stasis net satellite. No longer allowing crash debris and meteors. Okay. Unknown biological material. We condense the whole center of the map, making it more predictable where players can and cannot rotate from. I thought it, that was already reasonably predictable.
with a covered zip zip rail loop. Oh, that's interesting. Breaker Wharf. Which one is this? Uh, corner of the map. Northwest corner of the map. Yeah, it was very secluded. <laughs> So they basically expanded it, kind of. Did they also move it? Yeah, they did move it. They moved it in closer to the map, uh, towards the map. It's probably still not going to be landed in very heavily, but at least it might be a little bit more used. Spaceport. Uh, okay. I don't remember where on this map this is, but I do know exactly what this is. I feel like a lot of fights in this area were actually pretty interesting. Although I will say my big complaint with this area is rings that close over here on the bottom left were just super roughed. Like this being a, an ending zone was just not fun. Whoa, okay, this is dramatically. What the heck? Oh, no, I, I'm like... I was at first like, how is this the same camera angle? But then like this actually overlaps correctly up here. So they actually dramatically change this area. I like this. So there's a bigger purpose to bring more action to spaces less traveled. I mean, this this area, just moving in this area was rough. So I like what they did with this. Cliffside. Oh, OK. Right next to the center, yeah. Which has also just been annihilated. In between the quarantine zone and stasis array. This smaller point of interest with an interesting X layout, allowing for tug of war between the high and low grounds. I'm not seeing the X layout they're talking about, unless they mean like this is the center of the X. Solar pods. Um, this is the factory. Uh, I don't know if the factory is still there or not. Introduce the bridge between foundry and cultivation. Okay, so presumably foundry is actually over there still. Oh yeah, you can see it right down here. So foundry is still there, but it separates it out more. Speed up pacing the map between points of interest and offer a new combat experience within them. Hmm. I don't have much of an opinion on this area, mostly because it's kind of just largely ignored, which is probably their intent with this change. Underpass. This is... Wait, hold up. Ah, I'm mixing up these two. Okay. I mean, I, everything I said was correct on this one, but I was confused because I thought these were the same, but no, they're different. This is the one that has like a, um, a, like capture, or not capture flag, I forget, control map on it. I actually really like the control map on this map. It's pretty fun. So it's still there. Underpass is another one of the smaller points of interest. Yeah, I mean, this was largely ignored too, I feel like. Like most people, when they exited this area, would go down to the right. I, I feel like not much changed here. Other than just adding a couple more buildings. Less, okay, so it's intended as an alternate drop location. That makes sense. Experimental labs. Um, I don't remember where this is located on the map at all. This one, I don't remember. So I left this entire area here and just added in a bunch more. Yeah, this is more of a, this is another place that's intended to be more of a drop area. I feel like they're introducing new drop areas to try and reduce like the pain of hot drops new rotations <clears throat> i don't even know where this is to be honest yeah this one i can't really compare on just because i don't have a clue where this location is 
Um, this one I think is the back pass. Mm. Again, not certain on this one. Looks very different though. Yeah, are these ones. Oh wait, actually, this one is flipped. This is before. Where is this located? This is at the north of cultivation. And also looks dramatically different. I don't know. I, I don't know why they switched to having the before on the right on these. Yeah, I still don't know what this is. Those are two different areas. I'm going to skip through these. Wait, hold on. There's actually more patch notes, right? Aha. There's more patch notes. I need to see the weapon changes. And presumably character rebalancing. Aha. Upgrades. Reduce alternate cooldown by 30 seconds. Extend highlights and see health bars after exiting tactical. Extend highlights? I don't know what that means. Um, unclear. Void Nexus no longer times out. Void Nexus just stays over her. Okay, her ultimate. Ah. I, wonder, I assume this has to have a range on it. Reduce tactical cooldown by 10 seconds. Again, I'm curious what the time on that is. Balance changes. Wingman returns to the floor. That makes me kind of sad. Yeah, I mean, these don't matter. It was a, it was a care package weapon. It's hard to compare. Devotion enters the care package. Reverse hip fire. Oh, that's fascinating. Old weapons rotation. Nemesis, Triple Take, Peacekeeper, Prowler, Longbow. Mostly don't care about any of those other than maybe Prowler. It depends on if they have Select Fire in here. I really hope they bring back Select Fire. Uh, first loop been opened by an unarmed player. Wait. The first loop. Oh, wow. That's a great change. That's an amazing change. So good. It's always going to be a Mozambique, but at least it's something. It's actually going to be a P2020, and I'm going to be sad. But I like that. Running, shooting, punching, and reviving will all break out of the banner collect animation. Nice. I, I skipped over the first line, but yeah, collecting it. This, this was rough. This, this change is excellent, even though it seems small, because literally this the fact that this was a thing discouraged players from picking up their teammates' banders in a fight, which was, in my opinion, completely counter to what they wanted. So this is this is a good change. You can immediately interact with the Xbox a second time. Okay, so they can pick up their banner and change shields. Good change. Both of these are excellent changes. They're minor ones that probably should have happened a while ago, but they're good changes. Um, let's see. Survival items now only spawn from a support bins tray if the team is in need. Good. Skull piercer gone. Skull piercer gone. Barrel stabilizer removed. Oh. Okay, but base recoil is improved. Okay. Being a good entry level and requiring a lot of attachment. Yes, that's... This is really good logic. I like this change. I'm not necessarily a massive fan of removing Soul Piercer from it, but the barrel style... Like, integrating the barrel stabilizer is a good change. Projectile gravity reduced. This is... I feel like this weapon is going to be a lot more popular. And it was already one of the more popular sniper rifles, in my opinion. Boosted loader on the triple take. 
Yeah, that makes sense. Skull piercer gone, boosted loader. Eh, I'm not a huge fan of boosted loader. It's so niche. Digi threat is gone. That both counters and synergizes with a specific. <laughs> okay, that's a fair point. Yeah, I mean, it was literally a hard counter and like a hard synergy to Bangalore. Period. And end. That's fair. I don't think that's a terrible decision. Legends, Ash, Arc Snare, could change to left hand cast. Bolstering and redrawing your weapon. Yeah, that's fair. That makes sense. I never really thought about that, but yeah, it makes sense. Your nearby enemies will be highlighted for players traveling through the void. Okay. Ballistic Whistler damage from a planted smart bullet. I, I'm happy with this because I like using ballistic in team deathmatch explicitly that and nowhere else. So it's a buff. I mean, it's, it's a small buff. It's only five more damage, but I'll take it. Care package insight removed. Wait, what? Oh, oh, they gave him a new upgrade. That's unique to him. That's cool. I like that. Slingshot improves like this. Ah, uh, this is such a good upgrade change. So how does this work? Breakout level two. I mean, I don't really know why you would ever take lasting bullet other than if you want to be a sniper. Slingshot is like objectively the right take, and it's also really good because it lets him it lets him use a mid-range weapon, a close-range weapon, and a sniper weapon, and he doesn't have to be using an alt to use his, like, third weapon. Because before, you couldn't actually put attachments on it or anything. Good change. Cooldown increase to four minutes. Wow. Wow. Murdering his alt. Tactical cooldown? What? Tactical cooldown removed. I see. Um, gain 25 hit points. Uh, minus 5. Yeah, because this was just really strong. His tactical is already one of the best abilities in the game. Making it even stronger was silly. Oh, so they added... Okay, they put this on his upgrades. Wow. They, they hurt Bloodhound here, and I'm admittedly kind of a fan to it. Catalyst. Long cast upgrade integrated into base. Ta oh. Good. He sh she can naturally throw her spikes so farther now. Dark veil length increased slightly. Uh, Pharaoh door. Fully rebuild and reinforce missing doors. What? She rebuilds doors now. That's pretty cool. Before, her, her passive was kind of not spectacular because if you used it on a door that was gone, allies couldn't go through it. Whereas this lets allies go through it. And also, presumably, it has more a little bit more health. Unclear. Um, caustic gas damage and slow now stops immediately after Caustic Squad is eliminated. I wonder how that will interact in like control and tactical and stuff like that. Uh, not tactical, uh, team deathmatch and stuff like that. Gamma damage ramps slower. Damage on knocked players down to flat four. Wow, that's those. I mean, this one is pretty good at nerf. I think I agree with this, especially considering I've played. Caustic in team deathmatch on the one map where the, it's a closed room that everyone fights in and it's just like destroys everyone. Can no longer target a revenant while Forge Shadows is active. Good change. Also good change. Upgrades. Bat pack can stack up to three shield shield batteries per inventory slot. Doesn't stack with gold backpack. See battery count. Yeah. Okay, that's a good change. It feels a lot better. It feels like it's kind of bad. 
This makes me hopeful that they improved Fuse's upgrades. I'm getting excited and I shouldn't be because I'm going to be disappointed. Crypto. Network traffic upgrade now integrated into base kit. What was the network traffic upgrade? Deploying the drone calls out squads in the area. Good change. Don't make it so you have to go into the, the, ba the thing to click on a banner. That's dumb. Squad count banners are now visible anytime the drone is in a deployed to say also good change. Wow, those are really good changes. Crypto is now much more interesting to play in my opinion with this. Uh, attack ultimate cooldowns removed. Passive and alt range increased by 25% or improved drone handling. What does that mean? Faster Excel, Detail. Mm, I don't know that that's that useful. Completely different level three upgrades too. No, oh, because those got integrated. Or one of those got integrated. Right. Double drone recharge rate. Gain speed boost when it explodes. Wow, that's cool. Drone scan persists for one and a half seconds. As in like when they break line of sight. Uh, oh, here comes the fuse. Upgrades. Big Bane removed. Oh, okay. Gain access to ring counts. Okay, I mean, this is kind of a boring change. But I will say I was not never a huge fan of his level 2 upgrades, and now I will always take Ringmaster. Scar Tissue. Wait, oh, they changed Scar Tissue too. I can't say that yet. Simplified and buffed damage mitigation to remove lingering burn effects. You flat 20 damage instead of 37 over time. Eh, eh. Taking Remaster. Reckless. Fisk explosion damage mitigation not applying on continuous knuckle cluster hits. Good change. I never realized that that didn't apply correctly. I'm a little less excited about this than I would be otherwise, but that's those are good changes. Newcastle, I don't really care, but I'll read anyways, because <laughs> I hate playing Newcastle. Draw animation speed increase, that's great change. Castle wall. Destroy incoming projectiles. Head towards the front of the wall. Norbomar. Okay, like grenades? Energized duration increased. I feel like 30 seconds is already reasonably long, but increase energized duration to three minutes. Octane. Reckless removed. Oh, I felt like Reckless fit his character though. Even if it wasn't very good for him. Mad Hops moved to level two. Which one's Mad Hops? Gain an extra. Whoa! That level two is great. Tick skin, now level two and three. What do you mean now level two and three? Oh. You can double take it. Interesting. So you can go hard on his launch pad or on his stim. Islands will stop spawning arc stars when her squad is eliminated. <laughs> what was what? That's a weird change. No longer reduces shield regen capacity. Uh, okay. They're just they're doing the void thing for everyone. Further evened out the probability of a prop spawning at any specific location. Mode solo six week takeover. Wait, really? Okay. I figured, I thought, I assumed they were replacing duos. Automatically respawn once if you die in the first four rounds. Four rounds feels excessive. I feel like three rounds would have made, made more sense. HUD indicator when enemies are within 50 meters. Um, not a massive fan of that. L3 Genius Battle Combat auto heal starts after each kill. I'll probably try out solos today, which is an absolute mistake because I haven't played in like nearly a month. 
Octa uh, okay, don't care. Ranks also don't care. I think I'm gonna skip. Your end of season rewards will now be determined by highest rank tier you achieve during the entire. Is that really that really wasn't the case before? Interesting. Your season end reward match will be animated if you match or surpass your season split one rank in split two. Interesting. Um, end ring generation system. <laughs> I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that was a bug. That's a good bug. Equip any back tower or mobile respawn beacon will no longer close the inventories of all other players in the match. I wonder how conditional that was. I'd never noticed my inventory randomly closing. Um, players can no longer enter exit vault without key. Ballistic duration of speedy whistler restored to two seconds. Are these bug fixes? Yeah, these are bug fixes. Um, remove, remove race shadows from the void if you aren't playing as Wraith. Interesting. Resolved bad spawn points for arc stars. Additional security improvements. Uh, as they're descending. Okay. You can reek you at the end of pubs BR. Could you not before? It's not interesting. You had to go back to you had to exit out of spectator. Any lock set into the sling where it'll be converted into the proper lock set tier and restored to its original state when being moved out. Option to automatically ping the location of the death box will be prompted when knocking it from a fire's grasp. <laughs> I I don't. I never, I n literally never go after death box fires because they feel just so useless constantly. Because they're only ever blue or purple. If they were gold death box fires, I would go after those in an instant. Make them, make them consistently purple and gold and not blue, and I'll go after them. When self res is available. Ping should now go through all translucent surfaces like windows. That's a good change. Quest for oh, thank you. As a fuse player, I love this because I can now ping for all of the grenades. Oh, I have to use the wheel though. Uh, okay, I was, probably won't remember that. Thunderdome moved C capture point to landing pad. Right, because it was upstairs before. Was it? No. Oh, this is the one that is like was beneath the landing pad and that was now a landing pad. I see. Graphics. All right. Oh, wait, I have to do the collection trailer. Or I assume this is a collection event trailer. Chaos. Oh, I don't know why it needs to start. No, it turn. devours our world. Offers a canvas for Hello, classic. I didn't realize that was caustic at first. Take the human body, fragile, finite, flawed, and imagine an opportunity to exist beyond. Is she make? Is he making forward beans? Beyond flesh, beyond death, an evolution spurred by a newly discovered variable. All it's you not too bad. Is an architect. I hypothesize the void will fold you into its embrace and transform you into something remarkable. I mean, clearly the next map is going to be the void, right? Okay. All right. Anyways, that is that. Um...
now I have one other thing to do before bringing up the game for probably only like, I don't know, 30, 45 minutes, which is to show off my teaser slash announcement thing. So yeah, let's do that. I say I see a teaser announcement because it's like it's an announcement, but it doesn't actually have a set date yet. So it's kind of more of a teaser. Boop. Do 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 do. I have a new model that I will be debuting soon, TM. Uh, so this is a model I've been waiting on for a fair while. Um, it is made by Nikono Minmi. I knew I was gonna screw up the name. Uh, you, her Twitter is there at, at minme at underscore zero seven zero one. And yeah, it's a lot different of a style than I have my models have been. Uh, it is more of a kimono style. So yeah, uh, I have it as debuting soon. Because I there's stuff I want to prepare ahead of time. I want to kind of make some changes to my uh, virtual stream setup. And I want to do those before debuting the model. Also, another teaser. There is a reasonably high chance this will come with a... I, I don't want to call it a rebrand. Yeah, it's screw it. It is a rebrand. A slight revamp. I will still be Kindach, but I will probably not go by that name because I have discovered that humans, at least English speakers, uh, very much struggle with that pronunciation, and especially looking at the like. I mean, it makes sense as English speakers looking at this from an English speaker lens. I would not know how to pronounce it either so it makes sense but yeah anyways i'm going to go ahead and put this in the corner that didn't work there you go I don't know how this is going to go for the game. This might cover too much. I figured I would put it in the left corner so that way it wouldn't, um, like it would mostly just cover the map, which a lot of people do anyways when playing Apex. So it should be fine. All right, let's see how laggy this makes this game makes me. Again, I haven't booted up the game in a month, so I'm going to play it atrociously and probably make rookie mistakes. That is a slightly trippy um, start screen. Hello, fixer. How are you? The start of a new rank season. Stir of the peace. It's interesting it didn't start up start me off with the trailer. Upheaval battle pass. I assume this is the new currency symbol. Broken moon shatters. Legend locker. Why why did they change this? Oh, because it includes legends and weapons. I see. I am good as well. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I am going to be playing a few games of Apex, but probably not too many. Mostly because it's getting late here. Uh, what do I have that is... Okay, great. A bronze badge that is marking all of my legends. A uh, new character. Wait, hold up. Void Raider Milestone Collection. Okay, so it is a collection event. Alter Launch Bundle. It obviously includes the character. It's a creepy skin. I don't, I... I mean, the character, to be fair, the character itself is kind of supposed to be creepy. 
But I don't like this kind of creepy. I do kind of like that vault skin, but... Oh, there's other porcelains? God, that's such a weird aesthetic. It kind of fit. I like it. I like his. It fits his. Salvo special. Wait, okay. I'm going to say this. <laughs> okay, so he's waving. <laughs> Switcheroo. He's waving a white flag and then suddenly thermite grenade to your face. Is she doing the same thing? Yeah, okay. All right. But without a cool robot arm to do it with. I need. I always need to look at the fuse things. Down Umber. He has a spell book. And look at his... He's got like a... Uh, a maze jerkin. This is a pretty sick flatlight skin. I may have to acquire this skin. Um, what is this? Weird. Okay. So we haven't encountered the exotics yet. What is that? What is that picture? Is that Bangalore and her brother? Yeah, it is. William's family. Um, still not the new stuff yet. Is this just the same color thing but green? It is the same thing but green. Well, okay. Is the metal different color? Slightly. Oh, it, yeah, it is. Slightly. It's a weirdy color. Okay. Aha! Exotic shot. Wait, these are not what I thought they were. These cost 50 exotic shards. Are they reactives? It's a pretty skin. All right, what do exotic shards cost? So wait, hold up. This costs 50 exotic shards. So this costs 36, but what? They're just directly selling a skin for $36. I guess Valorant is doing that, which is probably what inspired them to do this. But this one, like this one definitely here is just a recolor of an older battle pass skin. This one, I think, is new, but... I mean, that's a, a strange decision to have a recolor for $36. Um... Well, yeah, let's look at the battle pass. Well, okay, actually, hold up. I want to acquire the new character. How do I acquire the new character? This way. All right, uh, I need to look at a couple skins here. So like these skins are really good. I'm not a massive fan of either of these, although I, I kind of like the mask thing. And I like purple. But these are pretty sick. She's literally an Oni. Final bow. I don't like that one quite as much. This one I like. She's an Oni. Nope. Nope on those. Are there any of these that actually look interesting? Sometimes there is. That's why that's the only reason I'm looking through here. A leopard one. It is still not great. Now if it was blue leopard, that's where it would be. All right, um, nope. So what are the new skins? That one's pretty good. I feel like they, they usually do a good new skin for the new, um, character. That one's pretty decent too. I'm not a big fan of this one. And then the weapon skin is a vault skin. Wasn't the new skin in the, um, the character package also volt skin. That's seems like a miscommunication. Oh wait, I thought this was in the collection event. What? 
They're not. Oh. Wait. So it's not for the collection event. So this is this is just not a collection event. Wait, impulse. I do like this one. I this one's okay. I don't like it as much as the other one though. So wait, what is this event? What is this event actually though? One limited item. Pack contains one limited item. 3% chance of a cost 60 in. Purchase Void Raider packs to collect items and earn milestone rewards. So there's 10 items. So this is a miniature version of the collection events that they started doing last season. Where there's only 10 items as opposed to like 25 in those. A single pack is $10. Presumably the first one only is the only one discounted. In fact, I have enough. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's do the first pack. I'm probably gonna get the stickers with my luck. It is not a sticker. It is a hollow, which is arguably worse. Mm, no, hollow is slightly better than a sticker, but like these are two are by far the worst ones. Okay, so the next one's 50% off. So it's a dollar five dollars, and presumably the rest are ten dollars. So it's probably an eighty five dollar collection event with a legendary skin as the uh the chase item. Well, kind of. There's also that. Where does does he have a? Does he normally have a weapon on him? I feel like that's not normal. Caught in my web. That's standing? What is this? <laughs> That's kind of a weird skydive I emote. Barred ire. I don't even remember these being shown off in the event trailer. They showed off like the battle pass ones more. I'm not a big fan of these. Uh, is there a thing though? There's not a, a event reward track. All right, so play four matches. I did see that they changed this. It does have two times instead of one, but this was probably, I, okay. I feel like they did this challenge because A, you would always complete these first two at the exact same time anyways. Uh, and B, to encourage people to play deeper into characters that are not their favorite character. Uh, and oh, sorry. Number three is if they get a character they don't like, it encourages them to reroll it. So that is my analysis of that. So I think there's three levels to that change. I, it's, it's entirely reasonable that they didn't do it for all three of those reasons, but those are three reasons that I can see why they would do it. Uh, also, I'm going to open a pack. Also, you can't see it, but I have a lot of packs. Also, I just got a random legendary. Is it a skin for... Uh, what's her name? No. What is that? All right. Yeah, 105 packs. I'm going to open five more packs and then actually start playing. I need to get in, like, at least a couple games. I kind of want to get a skin for her that's, like, rare or better. Or, actually, that is a rare skin. Uh, okay. Right, all my rares are going to be for her. Um... Not atrocious. Get your knickers in a knot. Okay, good talk. I don't know which one of the rare ones I would want. Snake skin's not bad. Oh, especially oh, the snake skin fits because she has a fucking scorpion tail. It works perfectly. 
Don't think about it. Hey, new thing. I don't know what she said, but it's a new thing. So we look at it. Wow. No luck after that first one. Ooh, that's a pretty good pose. Scrap nap. What is she sleeping on? Is it a, just a generic Marvin? That's a really good line. I like that line a lot. Um, what is this? Can't tell. All right. So, games. Um, I'm going to try and play four games. I don't know if I'm going to. I don't know how long it'll take. We'll see how long the games last. And we'll see if anyone's in the queue. Matchmaking queue length is also important. And it just went down from 16 to 12. Okay. We're good. We'll get there. Um, uh, mythics. Prestige skins. I scrolled too much. Rest in peace. Oh god, the lag is... Oh. It's okay now. Kind of. I'm hoping to upgrade my PC in like a year or so, but I don't... I want to wait because of the potential of new graphics cards coming out. And it would be nice to jump from the 30 series to the 50 series rather than uh, just going to the 40 series. Introducing your champion. I'm not a huge fan of my banner for crypto. Oh my god, the lag is hitting it. Uh, it's slow, so that ain't gonna help. Stay close. Reducing the resolution is my best bet, probably. Oh, right. That was a mistake. All right. Just in place. That was interesting. Oh, hey, uh, big. It's I want to say Big Bertha, but it's not Big Bertha. What the name of her ship is is still there. Why did you have to land in the exact same location? Well, also, why did I not get a weapon? Hello? I love the AFK lifeline. This is already the quintessential Apex experience. Great. Amazing. I didn't get a weapon when I opened my first supply bin, and I wonder if it has to be a normal loot bin, and like support bins don't count. If so, that would be kind of silly. We'll test that out again, though. I now have the enraged tiger skin. Also, I can make this slightly bigger. There we go. I will also be tweeting uh, this out probably tomorrow.
I'll tweet this out and then like once I actually finalize a date, which uh fingers crossed should be within the next month. I'm going to shoot for a couple from a couple weeks from now, but um it's gonna be tight if I want to get stuff done. Our number three was also trying to pick lifeline. I don't know what this uh, sudden interest in lifeline is. That is an <laughs> Lobo, Lobo's banner. There is a pretty good one. I was covering it slightly, so you probably didn't see it, but. Maybe we should go over there. No one's going there. Let's land here. Okay, we're landing in the. A, we're landing in the stereotypical spot. B, we are dropping late. Got him. Easy clap. That was a screw up. Bro, where's the last person? Thank you. Oh no. Oh my god, she is healing faster than our teammate is dealing damage because aiming with them. <laughs> oh, okay, alright. Oh, that's gonna be upsetting. There's an R301 here. I'll take that first before the thing happens. Uh, right, I'm gonna do network expansion. Good shit. Uh, I mean, yes, and sure. Mostly just for ease of getting that done. Plenty of other stuff I could have used, but I actually care about like doing those, even though they give a lot of wiggle room. I should have grabbed more ammo. Eh, we're fine on ammo. I would love a sight. Hey, Silver. How are you? It's not bad for me. I'm getting into Apex again for the first time in like a month, so I'm playing terribly. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, we go beneath and take the the thing up. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes, it worked. That was beautiful. Those are good shots, though. That well, okay, we got there. First squad deleted. Reached another lever. Upgrade awaits. Backpack here. 
And we got double 2x. How long have I been playing Apex? Uh, <laughs> I have played it near daily since it first came out, with the exception of basically just the last month. I am not, despite that, I am not actually particularly good. Um, I am good at certain aspects of it, specifically in uh, map awareness generally. That's not what I meant to do. Give me this extended. All right. And rotation. Double drone recharge rate. I think that's the play. Where are we going? There. I see. But yeah, I'm really bad at shooting. As you could have kind of see there. Got there. There's a second squad! I'm dead. I'm fleeing as fast as possible. Yep, there it is. Yep, there it is. You started season two? And always off and on. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, I like shooters normally. Also, yeah, sorry for the lag. Uh, this tends to happen. So I like shooters normally. But like Apex Legends just has like an amazing, to me, amazing movement. And I like the gunplay a lot more than most of the shooters. I also generally like slower time to kill. Uh, and Apex Legends is one, probably one of the slowest time to kills out there. Target spotted. So it kind of like is a perfect storm for me. Of like it feels like it's meant for me. I I've twice within the past year considered like quitting entirely just because of thing issues like um. Okay, why? Okay, this is connected to. Okay. Um, mostly because of matchmaking issues, because I don't like playing against diamonds and uh, top tier players constantly when I do not have the shooting skills necessary to compete with them. But even then, it's still, I sometimes manage to pull out wins largely because of superior positioning. Yeah, I I only ever really solo queue. And I to me it's less less the matchmaking less is about to my teammates and more just about the people I'm playing against. Because I mean my teammates usually are at the same level as the people I'm playing against. I'm not like the kind of person who thinks like oh my teammates are terrible and everyone else is great. No. Everyone is good. But I do not feel like I am appropriately at the level that I'm being placed at. Ranked, interestingly, I later in the season, I actually prefer ranked just because like the matchmaking tends to be more in line since it's based off of rank more than it is based off of MMR. Whereas pubs, it's like entirely MMR. Oh, I need to play single. I need to try playing solo. Um, I'll do that for my last match. I also probably still need to get more headshots. I'm probably close to good on assault rifle damage, but I like assault rifles anyways, so I'll probably still keep using assault rifles. What? That... That caption is odd. I don't know why the caption has numbers in it. In like, in place of letters within a pronunciation thing? I, this is a bad location.
I am going to have some problems here. I guess I don't necessarily... Uh. That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. Ranked is great in the season? Yeah. Start of the season, right? never play ranked. Unless you're a higher level player already. Those are good shots. Nice. Okay, or just leave. Sure, good talk. What? Where? Watch your back. I won't always be around. Good shit. Taking a knee. Crouching up. I don't know where the other enemy. Okay, apparently they went down there. Those are good shots. I'm not. I, for some reason, I'm actually having decent shots tonight, despite the fact that I haven't played this game in forever. Okay, this is not a fight to use the peacekeeper on. I also don't have light ammo. Give me a sec. Recharging shield. Let's go that way. I kinda just wanna leave this. Uh, I'm out of light ammo. Attention. Delivering care package. Yeah, they dropped the care. Anyone else see that? Drop ship up there. Attention. There is a new kill. I can hope there's light ammo over here. It's probably not. Hey, found a new kill oh. Uh, this is a problem. That peacekeeper skin is so bulky. I feel like most of the peacekeeper skins are really bulky. I don't know if this one's more bulky than any others. I feel like the ones with the diamonds or the gems on them is tends to be the bulkier. Like, okay, I can't fight this. I have no ammo. Why are you still trying to fight this? Oh, uh, you make me upset. Fuck, missed. I'm really bad with the peacekeeper. Also, I'm running. Only have the squads are left. There is a new kill leader. That's our banner. Don't let them have it. Still no ammo. Superstar is definitely your favorite. I think I I think I have that favorited. I don't remember. All right, waiting for my drone. Hello. And now we run. I'm recalling my drone. Because now they follow me. Because it's a wraith, and wraiths are always hungry. Um, this one is available. Which, in my opinion, is probably a safer one here. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we're good. I'm back. Off I'll do. Now I actually need ammo, though. Ideally, light ammo. Okay, well, that doesn't help me until I get ammo. But thank you. There we go. Honestly, I'm not good with the Peacekeeper. Shotgun bolt here. Level 3.
I should also heal. Yeah, thank you. Fixing up. I was too focused on getting my teammate up. Ooh. Ooh. All right, I'm ready to fight again. Although, if I'm smart, well, also if a teammate's smart, they should do that. But I will go get this Evo Harvester. The lever. The next move is to upgrade. Alright. Um I guess based on the ring we should actually go down. We shouldn't go back where we are. That's just like pushing ourselves into a terrible route, especially if someone come down that hill and came behind us. I found an extended energy magazine. Uh, I need that. Uh, I don't need any more of those. I would like to get a better backpack, though. This area has been looted, but there's still a chance there's something relevant here. Like a better backpack. Hey, speak of the devil. Okay. Remember, you can't run across that, yeah. Um, I think it would be good for us to go to the south. Are you on top? I really need to upgrade my weapons more. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Give me that helmet. Yeah. How come the VTuber thing kind of lagging yet? Uh, because it, my computer is unable to run Apex, uh, well and my VTuber model well. I have a decent computer, but it's a little too much for it. Care package coming in. I see an enemy over there. But yeah, I was mentioning early, eye for an eye. Yeah. Okay. You you should probably heal. I was in range of that. That's unfortunate. Okay. Hello. That was awful. Ugh. Where am I at on my missions? Last next game will probably be the last game. Let's see. Two. I need to get two kills or assists. And I need to play one match as crypto. I feel like, um, in theory, kills should be easier to get now, especially well, particularly while completing battle royale challenges, because of solos. Obviously, Solos is only a short-term takeover, but also I wish I got to play Broken Moon. I want to see the new Broken Moon map. I wonder if they if it was only like um, guaranteed for a week and they opened it up, or if they even did bother doing guaranteed open or guaranteed map.
I have a charm that I need to go through. All right, there you go. That's better. Alert security beach. Any more? Yes. Why? Why are there so many more? Oh, right. These are the ones from the last season. Broken news. So I was leaving this week? Wait, is it really? I thought the takeover was like six weeks. Supposed to be six weeks. I would not normally play crypto as solos, but... My mission dictates that I need must. I also have never played solos before, so this will be my first solos experience. This is your champion. Also, thanks for the follow, Silver. I just noticed. I mean, this is the incorrect decision. But I'm going over here. Wow, shocking. Enemies are nearby while I'm jumping out of the, uh, the dropship. Seem like a chill guy? Thanks. I try to be. My laugh isn't very chill, though. My laugh is a hyena. Mm, rampage is a starting weapon. Could be worse. A double rampage is... Not much different. Oh, sure. Ooh, I'll take that instead. Oh, stop. I need that. The enemies nearby indicator is going to drive me mad. Okay. All right. As I maybe had too many um, sights on me. Aren't they all? That's fair. Screw it, let's try it. I'm about to get annihilated because shooting is pain. Look at that aim with the fucking pistol. Oh my god. Do I have any weapons on me or am I dropping with no weapons available? Also, I feel like the fact that everyone's second chancing at the same time is... Not spectacular. Well, some boxes here not opened. I hope I guaranteed a weapon on redrop. Oh, okay. We have my weapons back. I will take the pistol, though. Oh, God. Am I lagging? Not my model. Mm, no, I think we're good. There's definitely someone this way. I mean, it's, we're in the city. Of course there's people this way. What is this lag? Why are you leaving? Where did you go? Oh my god, this side, please. I'm. Oh my god, I can't shoot! Uh... Yeah, I should not be playing solos. Uh, I just commissioned it, so if you look below. Uh, my video, I should have, uh, okay. It might be slightly out of date. I do probably need to update it, but there should be a lot of, um, a lot of credits for different stuff. 
like my model and my emotes and that kind of stuff should be credited all down there again there's a chance i need to update it uh at some point but yeah no i'm not particularly an artist all right i'm gonna play a match of control and end it there because that will guarantee to get me two kills or assists also i actually kind of enjoy playing control on this map specifically while playing pathfinder Because his, um, uh, zip lines are insanely strong on this map. Particularly on one side versus the other side, but even on the other side, they're still decent. I wonder how the new characters are on the map. Path is all right. Bangs your girl. Uh, Fuse is by far my biggest main. But um, Path, like, especially in control and mixtape modes, I will play different characters. Like, I love playing Pathfinder in control because zip lines are just insane. Like, Good zip lines in control win games, period. On their own. Um Yeah, Fuse Man. Uh I know it's a little weird, but I like I love his tactical. His tactical is so much fun. Come on, friend. Time to win. I still need to try out the new character at some point. All right, what is my weapons options? I see an R301, I take an R301. I screwed up, so that's unfortunate. Did we get it? No, I didn't. That was close. Damn. Can be good. Her tactical is fun. Yeah, her tactical. I, I'm shocked that her tactical is her tactical. I thought that was her alt when I was. I figured that would be her alt. And I drop this anywhere. Mm, yes, I can. Who's ready to fly on a zip line? I, am. I don't know if this is a good location to drop it, though. I am bad with a path peacekeeper. There we go. Yeah, her tactical is kind of, seems kind of insane to be a tactical, so I assume it has a reasonably long cooldown on it. Oh god, this is rough. The enemy team is very good. Especially in comparison to our team. At least this, this is, this turned out to be a really good, um... Thing. Zipline. That one. That's the word. <laughs> I 
He pre-fired, uh, and I was not there. 45 seconds? That's... It's on the long side as far as those go, but like... It's not that long. For the ability to go through walls? Sure, let's try out the new devotion. I'm kind of excited for this. What is this? Is this a teleport back point? Yeah, okay, never mind. This should hopefully help us capture B. That'll do. That was terrible aim. But I'll take it. Okay. That was pretty cool. Oh. Hello. Oh, I thought it weapon or it's shoot switch. How often do I stream? Uh, this is <laughs> this is the first stream of mine in like a month and a half. But I'm hoping uh, sometime within the next month to start streaming more regularly. But yeah, I do not stream uh, much. Let's just say that. Can I stop here? Hello. That was awful aim. Yeah, no, I don't stream much. I'm very inconsistent, but I want I want to try and be more consistent. We'll see if I succeed. Alright, so. Where can I throw this? Um I kinda wanna cross it over. Hmm, that's not gonna work. Fuck. I'm so bad with the peacekeeper. There we go. Give me this. Give me the peacekeeper. Alright, um. Where could I drop this? <laughs> he tried to get his back. So you just play games then and sometimes stream? Uh, yeah, I mean, basically all of my streams are just almost always like playing games i don't do i don't stream much other than that can this work um screw it let's try that oh that works Pretty decently, in my opinion. And now we can more easily... Ooh, that was a good grenade. Yeah, I figured that was the bamboozle. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I had suspicions that was coming very quickly. I feel like I'm quote unquote carrying, even though I'm not carrying in any way at all. Ow. Hello. Okay. Hello. Ooh, that was good shots. Nope. <laughs> hey, I got the most amount of kills so far. Do I really? Well, not anymore, but I did. I was tied for it. Yeah. 
I mean, also, like, the only reason we're even remotely in this game is because of these. I feel like. Because they're letting us immediately go from our spawn to the contact con points. I really hope I can cap for. No, they're not. Don't lie. All right, let's go ahead and capture this. Okay. All right. What was that? Hello. Where are you? So like you said, good zip sequel ends. Well, it's not working out enough in this case, unfortunately. This one's not very good, but I also don't really know where to put the last one, so. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that was kind of a worthless one. I, I just didn't really know where to put the third one. I'm waiting to shoot until they realize that I'm taking the zone. Or they just won't notice. Damn it. That person was uh, very focused on their attempted sniping with the bow. Alright, this is, uh, this would be a good time to use the, the third one. Nope. Nope. Oh, shit. Well! I think I did most damage, at least. Let's see. And uh, more importantly, I got the two kills that I need. <laughs> What's the swear word? Yeah, most damage by over 500. I'll take it. Yep, GG. I don't know what the symbol means. I've never, I, I swear I've never seen that symbol before. Actually, oh. I was about to say I had most damage on in the game, but no, the, the Watson did. Also, their Watson only had seven kills, really, despite having three over 3,000 damage. So, yeah. VIP? Is that a thing? Interesting. All right. Anyways, that's where I'm going to end. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you have a good night. See ya.